In its long history, the state capital has seen plenty of political battles, but few more intense than the fight over affirmative action and whether it should play a role in who works at the capital. We've passed the affirmative action way, way long ago. But Republican State Representative Mike Ritz now thinks it should go. That was corrected probably sometime in the 80s and 90s. The Broken Arrow doctor is one of several lawmakers who put state question 759 on the November ballot. If voters say yes, it would ban the use of affirmative action in state employment, meaning race and sex could no longer play a role in who the state hires. We as government should not pick winners and losers. And I, I think we've gone way overboard and, and now we're becoming to the point where it's reverse discrimination. However, the statistics seem to show otherwise. A study by the Henderson Center for Social Justice showed that people of color make up 30% of Oklahoma's population, but make up only 23% of workers in the public sector. When you look, if you look at the, even the state employment statistics, you're not finding a lot of African Americans in these state jobs. If you do find them, they're not in positions of power. Democratic State Senator Judy McIntyre is fighting against the proposal, which would also outlaw the use of affirmative action in county and city governments. It's a rhetoric that is intended to excite, to anger a lot of the Republican base, a lot of whites, poor whites, who think that uh, that others have been given, minorities have been given a chance and, and, that, and took jobs from them. That is not true. The affirmative action ban could also impact who the state gives contracts to for things like road work. What we're seeing now is there's kind of a reverse discrimination where if we have a, a government contract, we have under the, the law the way it was, or, or it stands, we have to go out and have so many, so many uh, minorities or people that are in certain classes uh, perform that. He's trying to move to a colorblind society, and I don't think we're there yet. The Oklahoma Policy Institute, a nonpartisan think tank, says states that have passed similar bans have seen reduced opportunity for minorities and women. Voters will have the final say on November 6th. Justin Wilfon, 2 News, works for you.